Mm. Benny, do you think you can trot this? I gotta admit, cantering through the trails, loads of fun. Whew. Hey everybody, we're going to uh, go on a trail ride today. Thought I'd bring you along for the ride, see how it goes. There's a new trail local here that got built and I thought I'd check it out. I'm gonna take Benny with me this time and uh, see how he does. It's a brand new trail again. Again, when you go for trail rides with horses, you can go on the same trail a lot and they'll be really used to it and they'll feel comfortable and you'll probably have a better ride compared to going on a lot of different trails. But in the long term, going on a lot of different trails helps the horse get acclimated to being in different places and different spaces and seeing different things. And you'll come across things that you might not come across on the same old trail. And so that's kind of, I don't know if exciting is the right word, but it's a good challenge, it's good fun. And who knows, maybe nothing will happen, it'll be good. So we're at our newest paddock. <laughs> and uh, just putting on the final, final touches on this thing. Got a couple of little repairs to make, uh, which I think I'm gonna make a video about because paddock maintenance is integral. You really have to, uh, Hi, buddy. You ready to go? This is maybe where are we going. Um, anyway, so paddock maintenance is really, really important. Uh, if you leave stuff, and I've seen it lots, uh, some hole or some dugout part or something that's just not fence boards and stuff, it can turn into a real accident. Just some little things, but footing wise. So we're gonna work on that today. Get this thing ready and uh, and open it up. Right now these guys are just temporarily in here to help tamp it down and uh, warm it up. So I'm gonna grab Benny, we're gonna trailer him, take him out to a new trail. So, catch up in a minute. Ready, Benny? <laughs> he says maybe. Okay, got Benny. And uh, now we're gonna go trailer him. Benny's an excellent trailering horse. Trailering, trail loading, excellent. Absolutely just fantastic. I couldn't ask for much better, maybe a little bit better, but not much. Um, no trouble at all to get him in. And so it makes, uh, it makes the process of going trail riding easier because if you have a horse that doesn't go in a trailer well, you're already starting out the day with a bit of a battle, with a bit of a fight, a bit of getting them over something that, you know, they shouldn't really have to get over. It's just a trailer. All right, let's get going and uh, we'll see if we can get to the trailhead pretty quick here. And that's it. Lead him up. We're in. Stay there, Benny. All right. I'll come in. He just moves his butt over nicely. Sure that's secure. No clickety clack. I'm out of here. Before going, I'm gonna just open up the window for him. 
Not the one directly in front of him, he's there. But the one behind him, it just helps air out the trailer. We always triple check. Trailer looks secure, we're good. We got this guy, ready to go Zeus. He says, yeah, sure, let's just get me out of the truck. Go for a trailer. Better close the gate. at our destination. He's such a good boy. Hi, baby. Okay, let's go. Hold on, big guy. Hey, chitty chatty horses. Hey. Oh, it's a beautiful day. All right, baby, let's go. Nice. It's good. Everybody wants to say hi. I don't know who these horses are. No. It's three of them, all black. Beautiful horses. Come on, Benny. Okay, I'm just gonna tie Benny up while I uh, put a saddle on him. <clears throat> Usually I don't like to tie up a horse to saddle him, but uh, I gotta go around to the other side of the trailer to the tack room. I already took them out, so I didn't prep. Which I always try to encourage people to do. Prep all your stuff. Then bring your horse so you can just sort of hang on to them. Don't tie them up if you have to. Uh, but I kind of have to, and that's okay. Let's get going. <laughs> Zeus. Ready to go? <laughs> there is something in the neighborhood around here. Yeah, both the dog ah, and the horse smells, which should be interesting. Um, this is actually the first, we're ready to go now. This is the first trail that I ever took Benny on <clears throat> uh, to get him used to trails. It's a nice, short, quiet one. You don't go too far. Not very many people around here at all. So that's nice. So we're gonna head on up here again. See how Benny does. I don't know, something's around here. They're both sniffing pretty good, so. Eh. Oh. Well, if you guys have ever seen beans, let them know. The beans has been missing for a while. See those signs up all over the place. Missing cat. Okay, we're on our way. Nice early morning ride. Beautiful day, another beautiful day. Although it did rain a couple days ago, yesterday. No, definitely Saturday. And 
No, I mean, that's not Check it. So we're um, heading along this trail that we've been on a few times. Zeus, move it! Holy smokes. Dog almost got stepped on. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, sometimes when Benny goes over bridges, he gets a little worried. It's not really a bridge, but it kind of looks like a bridge. And uh, man, it's just a beautiful view. That was a lot of mushrooms. Okay, so we're coming up on a log in the middle of the trail. And uh, I try to talk about this kind of thing a lot. Uh, you have to uh, have horses be okay with obstacles and stuff like this. And I'm just going to have Benny kind of step over it. And not jump. I don't really need him to jump. Now he's kind of picked a high spot, so I'm going to sort of lead him over to a lower spot. There. And continue on up the hill. But that's sort of the fun part of trail riding, in my opinion, where you kind of can come across these obstacles, whether it's water or logs or mud, whatever, rocks, and uh, and sort of navigate your way around, see how your horse navigates a way around them. Uh, as they get better at trail riding, they actually just plain get smarter at doing it. You get what's called a push button horse, and uh, you essentially just sit on them and let them find their own way around. So, the more trail riding, the better. Looks for a smarter horse in the end. So, let's continue on. Well, we're doing a little road time to get to the new trail. At least I think this is the way to the new trail. Looking at the map, judging by the horse tracks, and I just saw Dave. So he was in his uh, city truck. <clears throat> and, uh, so, anyways, hey Dave, if you're watching this, good morning. Uh, we're heading on up the hill here. I think this is the way to go. I hope this is the way to go. Still, just a beautiful day. Wildlife everywhere. Uh, it's a nice day. A little windy. Actually, the wind is picking up. So we'll see what that brings. Now we're back on the trail. Oh, Benny's climbing like a champ today. Just really hoofing it. <laughs> Pun intended. Jeez, uh, again, just what a wonderful day. Doing great. We're on the uh, Louise Pool Trail, which is uh, Prickles, uh, which is a memorial trail to her. I don't really know the backstory. Oh, good dogs. Okay. See? Somebody called him back. That's nice. Oh, going this way, buddy. Not that way. There. Please pool memorial trail.
pretty good ride so far. Um, I'm sort of letting Benny pick a little bit uh, where he walks. Um, as long as we stay on the trail today, every once in a while I'll correct him. But again, when you're trail riding, sometimes it's okay to let your horse figure things out where they can step and where they can't step. Logs, twigs, rocks, uh, old stumps, uh, holes in the ground. Eh, you have to be a little careful around that, keeping your eye out. But as they sort of discover their own thing, it's like raising kids. Sometimes you just gotta let them. I don't know what we're doing here. See, now we're going the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways, back to the fact that it's like raising kids. If they're going in the complete wrong direction, maybe help them out. We're gonna go back. See, I have a camera in my hands. So. Benny knows that. He's a smarty pants. Okay, turn it around, continue on. Uh, this is the rich part <laughs> of Maple Ridge, I think. The size of these houses. Look at how hard Benny's working. I think we're just going to make it to the top here and head back. Um, wow, <laughs> look at this. Nice climb, Benny. Good boy. Uh, construction. Another thing that is really great to get horses used to. Look at Benny. Gotta pay attention. Now he's moving. No, I didn't ask him. Whoa. As you can see, it's just a really beautiful place to ride. No wonder people want houses up this way. That's a nice view. Okay, we're uh, heading back. So, I'm not sure if this will be the last video. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go, Benny. Take our time going back, not in a rush. <clears throat> I wonder if Benny knows his way back. It sometimes feels like every trail ride is a bit of an experiment, a bit of a science experiment, where you say, ah, I wonder what you'll figure out, I wonder what I'll figure out. Uh, every horse is different, every ride is different, everything, everything that happens is usually unique. Come across different people, different dogs, different things on the trail, a log, some tree that's fallen down, things like that. So. And he goes into his going home gear, which is usually a lot faster than his leaving home gear. Oh, Benny, slow down. Anyways, we're back on the Memorial Trail. Um, I'm interested to see, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm interested to see how Benny does at the end of this trail because at the beginning when we come in, there's a little bridge that sort of takes over a ditch. Well, not that. Uh, sort of need to pay attention to riding right now but uh, when we were going across the bridge initially I knew he wouldn't make it so I had to hop off and I had to lead him across and uh, <laughs> oh my goodness okay uh, so we uh, I didn't want to take the camera out because I really wanted to pay attention to make sure it's a skinny little bridge I really didn't want to take any chances so I hopped off and let him but now we're going home uh, I think I have a spider one. Oh, Benny. And uh, I have a feeling he'll probably just walk right across it and, and that'll be that. <laughs> I can't believe how fast we're going. 
I bet he trots up this hill. I wouldn't even have to do it. I mean, I should be doing something. I'm pretty sure he's going to be tired after this ride. It's good. So we got this bridge coming up. Let's see what happens. You have to be careful on bridges. Man, horses can get really worried and knock themselves off and, and you. I've seen it. Here we go. I'm going to wait for this car to go by. Oh, maybe not. Zeus! Hey! <laughs> nice people in a car. We made it. Uh oh, I think they know us. Maybe they know us. Hi! Ah, the horse community is pretty cool. Everybody's pretty chitty chatty and we've got a new trail so it's exciting. I haven't been to it yet. I don't think we'll make it today, we'll probably go tomorrow. Continuing on, now we're on the road again. Here we go. That was impressive, actually. Uh, it's really only about the second time that Benny's been through there. But it goes to show that other, I mean, our other spot at Alco really gives us a lot of practice. It's a lot wider and bigger. So, Benny, take your time. Well, I guess we're trotting. Okay, we made it up that hill. Uh, as I was saying, uh, Benny was real slow to go across the other way, but um, no problem getting back. One thing I will note, uh, I usually uh, ride with slightly longer reins uh, than an eight foot, I ride with 10 foot reins. And it allows them to, uh, when trail riding, maybe the arena isn't as applicable, but, uh, We're working on transitions. Walk to trot, trot to walk. Uh, anyways, the, the longer reins allow him to put his nose down and check out where he's walking. And again, I, I always advocate for horses to sort of make their own. Look at this. <laughs> Benny always takes the skinny path. Uh, anyways, I always advocate that horses can sort of make their own decisions based on what they see and what they've experienced in their life. And so uh, in, that, in that case, when we go through the water and I let his nose down, uh, he's allowed to pick and choose his way across based on what he's experienced in the past and what he feels uh, works for him that he can get traction and step carefully and, and stuff. So the more experience he gets at that, uh, or any horse for that matter, uh, the better. Just makes him a, a smarter horse. Ready, Benny? All right, pick it up. Problem. Just took his time stepping over. I think on it briefly. So, pretty nice. 
Oh, Benny, do you think you can trot this? I gotta admit, cantering through the trails, loads of fun. Whew. Okay, we're almost at the end of our trail. We're gonna climb this little bit, head around, get to the trailer. Head on home, Benny gets treats. I get a fresh coffee. Nope, far away.